Each year, BCTV volunteers along with our staff and crew generate over a thousand hours of local video. I get to see as much of that video as anyone. And so I get to see the ways that BCTV has changed how people perceive this community and the way that getting involved in the station has impacted the producers themselves. Mr. Shumlin, since you grew up in this area, do you have any childhood memories of the Brooks House? I sure do. I was just out smashing a wall in the Brooks House with a sledgehammer. I'll never forget walking through that building the day after the fire. Here we go. One, two, three. Coming up, a smashing time at the Brooks House. All this and more on the Newsmakers Newscast. <laughs> Joe, as the sun sets behind us, we're going to take our listeners through a jam-packed show. The unique thing about BCTV is that in our area, there's no commercial station. So our station is really the one place on the channel lineup where you can see people you recognize and see events that you were probably at or wanted to go to. Happy 4th of July, Brattleboro. I'm Tim Johnson, and look at this. I'm Larry Smith. Wow. Parade is still the centerpiece of everything that happens. It now starts on Wednesday with the Slow Living Summit. Catch our website, BrattleboroTV.org. You can see what all the items are there. Sit down, relax. We got eight hours of fun. We got eight hours of entertainment. And we have eight hours of a lot of nice stuff to auction off here. So make sure you call in and call in often. On any given week on BCTV schedule, there's content produced right here in our BCTV studio. Interviews, arts and performance, live music. I've had the chance to talk over the years with tens of thousands of area residents. BCTV is a great avenue for that, a great avenue for the expressive ability of a natural arts community. There's so many different things to see and different people that are involved. What's impressive at how much variety there is. There are so many artists and there's so many young entrepreneurs that are coming here. The Center for Creativity is right here in Wyndham County. It's not just about the bricks and the mortar. It's about the heart of the community. On BCTV, everyone gets an opportunity to talk about their work. Otherwise, you'd kind of be in your studio by yourself and you might not have a way to get your work out to the communities. People are finding that they're having wonderful nights out in Putney. There's video recorded out in our community, town events, Sunday masses, lectures, and readings from places like the Brooks Memorial Library. It's been a really a great collaboration because we can reach such a wider audience in the Brattleboro area community and beyond because of On Demand. The whole point is for either people who can't get out or aren't feeling well and, and still want to um, have a sense of what's going on that week in the church, um, it's really good for them. There are programs produced at other facilities in our community in partnership with BCTV like the high school's morning news advisory broadcast, BUHS-TV. Good morning, BUHS and Brattleboro. We've had a great use of BCTV. Parents love to watch it during the day, but we also have host a number of international students that come to our classes, and they're able to share BCTV live on the web with their families back home. So it's been a really great partnership. Greetings from the Vermont State House. This is Representative Mike Lewicki. BCTV is working hard to help bring the legislature and the work that we do uh, closer to home here. It keeps staff and it keeps the elected officials um, talking with the community in a way that we wouldn't have if we didn't have BCTV. Moderation is a lot like medicine. In addition to being election day, March 5th was of course town meeting day. It is not an exact science. The amendment is to provide television coverage on the school board meetings. Dora, let me assure you we will find a way to make it happen. 
It's been almost a year now, so can't pull that, can't pull that in. Welcome to a Spotlight on Issues. Anybody in the community can learn a lot about various issues, both in their own community and at the state level. It's really been an eye-opener into how much BCTV can facilitate that interaction between the public and local government bodies and how valuable that transparency is. Hello and welcome to Keep Talking, a community dialogue about mental health. I think what's so great about community television is that it gives people the opportunity to learn about something that's very relevant to their everyday lives here. And sometimes it's hard to reach out and get that information in other ways. If you really want to use a video to build your business, then this is a great resource because you can come in and you can film yourself and you can make video blogs. And you know, in the future, that's what it's all gonna be about. Little Shay Show. Today we're gonna to talk about how to get good pictures of your pets. A lot of people think of Valley Cares as assisted living, but we are much more than that. This is the program called Living and Dying about Brattleboro Area Hospice. Pets in other lives still yeah. have joy. To be able to sit down and watch a half hour segment on television or online is really something that's pretty accessible to most people. It's really an amazing thing actually to see how many people actually use BCTV's equipment and provide coverage about our community. We all have something that's of value that if we could share with others, um, their life and our life would be better. Welcome back to Let's Talk About Mental Health. People are just afraid of being mentally ill. They're just afraid to talk about it or to reach out for help. There's a lot of stuff going on in the street. For today's show, we are very excited to have Robert Plackshore here. Brattleboro able to get inside the red zone. We really care about it in our own community because we have a high misuse of prescription drugs among our youth. Many of us came from a situation where we lived by ourselves. If you're trying to get involved in video and it seems intimidating, it's not something that you are necessarily familiar with, uh, BCTV is the ideal place to start because they provide you with the training, they provide you with the resources. BCTV has this really wonderful pedagogy that where you can go in and be working on something and there's someone there the whole time. Uh, to answer your questions as they come up because the questions always come up. It's important to remember that all of us have a story to tell. Anybody could be the next video journalist. It's that simple. At any point in time, you can turn on BCTV and you can, you can see a different perspective. You can learn about a different issue. It's really a limitless number of items that can be covered and voices that can be heard. BCTV brings the community piece that our school really tries to focus on to establish the link between school and community. One of the nicest things about BCTV is that the staff want to make it work. And it isn't like you're imposing on them by asking them for help. It's more like, how can we help you to make this come true? 
being on staff at BCTV, we get to see people as they're making video when they first start to realize that what they're producing really is very engaging and has value not just to them but to people all around our community. A video is a very collaborative process and without other people really backing me up, I wouldn't have been able to jumpstart my career and it's BCTV played a huge part in that. We just feel extremely fortunate to have this opportunity to work with BCTV. It's a great way for us to get out there in the Brattleboro community. I just want to thank BCTV for that opportunity of helping me go for, for the things that I want.